So we just finished talking about all the crazy stuff going on in the presidential race, from cancer deaths to birth certificates to a potential civil war. It's enough to make you not want to vote for either of these people. The one-on-one -on -one party rivalry between Republicans and Democrats is fueling this craziness. And that's why my next two guests said enough is enough, and they left their traditional party affiliation, and they struck out on their own. Gary Johnson is a former two-term Republican governor of New Mexico. He's now running for president as a libertarian. Buddy Romer from my home state of Louisiana is a former governor of Louisiana who ran in this year's GOP primaries. He now chairs the reformproject.org. And Mr. Romer, you're an independent now, right? That's correct. All I right. changed. I was a Democrat for 20 years, a Republican for 20 years. I'm going to try independent. All right. So good to see both of you. I'm going to start with you first, <laughs> Gary. Is this two-party system broken? Uh, yeah, I think that uh, it's a vote between Tweedledee and Tweedledum. And uh, uh, I think people really care about uh, ending the wars and stopping the spending. And um, I think I'm going to end up being that third voice. Yeah, listen. But when you say Gary Johnson, people will say, well, I've heard of Mitt Romney, I've heard of President Obama, obviously, <coughs> uh, you know, I've heard of Paul Ryan, but who's this Jer Gary Johnson guy? Do you feel like you are shut out of the process in any way? Well, uh, completely. And uh, if it were reported tomorrow that I was at 5% of the national vote, the overwhelming reaction to that would be, well, who the hell is Gary Johnson? And that would be a good <laughs> thing. So... Uh, just uh, being on your show here, Don, thank you. I mean, uh, if it drives people to GaryJohnson2012.com, uh, I feel good about the results that people will actually uh, look up and uh, maybe take to heart. All right, so that was a, a shameless plug, and I, I allowed it. So listen, uh, Mr. Shameless. Romer. Shameless. Well, shameless, that's what this is all about, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, listen, Mr. Romer, do you mind if I call you buddy? Because we're from call the same place. Call me buddy. Okay, buddy's, buddy. What do you say? Fine, is this two-party system, is it, is it broken? It is broken. The largest party in America are the independents. The party growing the fastest in America today, and check the facts, is the independent party. We have 90 million Americans that won't vote in November. 90 million. Mm -hmm. This country's in trouble, and most people feel like there are no choices. I think they like Barack Obama, but are certainly not sold on his policies. And I don't think they really like Mitt Romney or know any of his policies. Yet all the media talks about Tweedledee and Tweedledum, as Gary says. The issue is reform. Yeah. Can we build our country? And neither party has an answer. Okay, so you said all the media talks about Tweedledee and Tweedledum. So let's talk about the media. I've heard, I've heard Gary Johnson and others, people who say, listen, I'm not a part of the, the two uh, major... Uh, political parties. I don't get invited, Don, to CNN or to any other network to be in the debates. I'm not part of the polling. Do, so you think the media is part of the problem and that needs to be fixed as well? And the two parties, they're in concert together. Gary Johnson was a two-term governor of New Mexico, did one hell of a job in New Mexico. He is a private businessman who's built a fantastic company. He and I walked through New Hampshire together. There were 23 nationally televised debates in the Republican primary. You know how many Gary got invited to? Two. Mm. And I might be exaggerating, maybe it was only one. There's a man that qualified, and the Republicans didn't even let him on the stage. Mm. What would it take to create a true sort of third-party movement, a party that has influence, Mr. Johnson, who can be a part of the process and maybe start the ball rolling so that these two polarized sides don't have a monopoly on the process? Well, that's what, uh, that's what I'm engaged in, and I'll just ditto that when it comes to Buddy. Uh, very complimentary, but Buddy the same. Very distinguished service as both a Democrat and a Republican. And if there was anybody out there who should have been able to talk uh, authoritar authoritatively on both parties, it would have been Buddy, but he was just shut out. So Buddy and I are in New Hampshire, and I'm knocking on 20 doors in the what afternoon. What do we do then? Uh, guess how many people I reached. What do we do then? How do well, you... Um, well, in this case, uh, really, there was an exclusion by the media. Um, I was uh, excluded from uh, debates where um, I was told that I had to be at 1% in A, B, and C polls. Uh, I wasn't in ABC polls. So how do you get into the debate if you're not in the polls? 
and uh, very exclu very very exclusionary. Hey, um, and let this me, is let the me, battle. Let me, you know, I, I'm, I'm looking at this. Hang on, hang on, Mr. Johnson. I want I want Mr. Romer to get in here, but but quickly because I'm really out of time. My producers are saying, "Hey, we got to go. We got to go." Answer the question. What do you think, buddy? What is it going to take to break the monopoly? Campaign reform. Get the big checks and money out of the room. Let the American people get in it. Campaign reform. Neither candidate is talking about campaign reform. Super PACs, PACs, bundled money, special interest money, Wall Street money. Let's let the American people stand up. And I tell you how it's going to happen. When someday we let a woman or a man voice those sentiments on national television with the two-party candidates standing right there, mm -hmm. they don't have it.